Hi, this is your host Kapil Bhartia and welcome to another episode of TFR Let's Talk. And today we have with us once again, Basam Tabara, founder and CEO of Abound. Basam, it's great to have you back on the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Always, always a pleasure. And since it, there has been a bit of a gap and, you know, we, this indus- we know this industry, a lot of things change very quickly. So it's, it's a great idea to just remind our viewers what is Abound all about in today's world. So talk about the company. So Upbound is the company behind the popular open source project Crossplane. So maybe I'll start by describing what Crossplane does. Crossplane is a essentially a control plane, a cloud native control plane. And it's a project, it's a CNCF project that, that Upbound started and we donated to the donated to the CNCF back in the May of, of 2020. Um, Crossplane lets you essentially standardize on using the Kubernetes control plane, the Kubernetes API, to manage everything, including the different cloud vendors or different services from cloud or different cloud deployment models, whether it's hybrid or private, et cetera. All of those can fit and connect up to a single control plane where you can standardize on access to, you know, all the different infrastructure and cloud vendors, as well as standardize on policy and access control and cost controls and try to put everything under a single point of control, right? Um, because it's based on the Kubernetes API, that means it's immediately compatible with the entire ecosystem. You know, pick your tool, pick your language, pick your framework, it all works. Um, and what we see is people kind of using Crossplane to build platforms uh, that with Crossplane at the heart of them, right? Platform engineering teams tend to be a, a thing uh, these days. And then, you know, um, Upbound is the company behind Crossplane. We sell both products and services around Crossplane, but with the same goal, helping platform teams, platform engineering teams, essentially build their own internal platforms using our building blocks and using our tools and services. Can you talk about, you know, ever since you folks contributed the project to CNCF, how has the Kubernetes landscape evolved? Because uh, it's in production, of course, there's no question about that. But the use cases are some something like beyond even our you know, imagination. So talk about how the, the whole ecosystem has evolved and what role is cross-plane playing today? So the way I would describe it is that, you know, Kubernetes obviously started uh, as a container orchestrator, right? It won the container wars, if you remember from 2016, 17, and emerged as the as the standard for you know containers and running containers, um, and is widely supported and deployed in different environments, right? Um, in the last five years, four to five years, we're now seeing the approach that Kubernetes took to manage containers be extended to managing more than just containers and specifically managing everything in the cloud, right? And that's where Crossplane comes in. Crossplane, you know, extends Kubernetes, adds more capabilities to it, adds new APIs and controllers that let it basically manage infrastructure at AWS or Google or Azure and everywhere else. But the shift that we're seeing and the one the one we invested in early with the Crossplane project and with Upbound is that transition that Kubernetes, you know, expands to just being a, from just being a container orchestrator to becoming the standardized way of managing everything, right? Everything in cloud, apps, infrastructure, tenants, customers, all fit and could be managed using the same approach that Kubernetes pioneered, right? That, that's, you know, if you look, look at historically, it's a, the first five years of Kubernetes was about it establishing itself as a container orchestrator. And now it's basically trying to unwind everything about containers and go forward with uh, the approach of a control plane. And that's that transition is where Crossplane came in. And you can, you know, uh, we like to think of Crossplane as essentially continuing that charter uh, that that Kubernetes started and extending it to to you know managing everything. How is Upbound itself evolving to serve this uh, this changing market? The first few years of Upbound were basically creating Crossplane and trying to, you know, do all the things needed to create the community around it and the ecosystem around it. Um, in the last last two years, we've been commercializing, um, and you know, it's been super exciting. The company went from about twenty people about a year ago, year and some ago, to about sixty-five, seventy people now. So we've more than tripled in size. Um, 
And primarily just uh, because we're seeing quite a bit of success with people that are taking crossplane into production, people that are essentially replatforming on crossplane. And I, and these are, you know, fortune companies, household names that you see and recognize that, that are doing this. And, you know, uh, as a company, you know, we had to basically put together a go to market team and start thinking about how we can support and, uh, these companies and grow our solution teams and support teams and everything else. Uh, but we also had to increase the size of our product and engineering teams and think about how we scale our product and ensure that we have a really healthy roadmap for our customers and both balance open source and commercial, the commercial side of this. So it's been a it's been a busy couple of years for uh, for us here at Upbound, and 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 we're grateful to see the both the adoption of Crossplane and uh, the the you know increase in our customers that are that are using it in production. Can you talk about the growth of the company uh, because you folks you know announced two leaders also recently? You know, as part of growing the company, I think one of one of the things that I had on my plate is to I, I also grow the leadership team, and so and I was excited to for Tom Tom Anthony to join us. Um, and lead our go-to-market efforts, you know, both in terms of our enterprise sales motion, all the way to, to customer success and post-sales. Um, Tom brings a wealth of experience here and, and uh, you know, probably one of the strongest names in, in the field uh, here and so grateful that he joined Upbound. Um, and then uh, Oren, Oren Tite also joined us and he's, uh, you know, the way I would describe it is that if you think about what platform engineers do, uh, they're all building their own platforms. I would often joke about that as everyone's building their own Heroku. Nobody uses Heroku anymore, right? But everybody's building their own version of Heroku internally. Um, so Oren was actually at Heroku. He was the sixth person at Heroku and built out and was the GM of the entire uh, the entire company and you know even after after acquisition so he has a ton of experience and then went went to build you know cloud run and other developer facing tooling at google so he joins us with a wealth of experience to essentially take us to the next level in terms of you know the outbound product uh, around crossplane um, super happy to have both of them on, on board and, and, and a testament to kind of the growth that, that we're seeing here at Upend. Now let's talk about uh, the larger ecosystem market out there. Uh, you talked about platform engineering. We are talking a lot of discussions about uh, platform engineering, DevOps is that, our SREs. What I want to understand from you is that since you have been in this space for so long, how are you seeing the evolution of the culture, people, organizational structure of the companies and and when we do talk about, of course, DevOps evolution is quite clear uh, with the cloud, uh, the whole developers versus operators. But uh, talk a bit about the, uh, this evolution, DevOps, SREs, platform, yeah. and also, do you look at look at it as an evolution, or you look at it as a parallel disciplines that do you know? So so let's let's look at it from that perspective. Yeah, I mean, look, um, I don't know if anything's dead, uh, but but. DevOps or, or whatever, but, but the, the, the more important point is I think we are definitely seeing a very clear pattern across all our customers and a lot of people that are using Crossplane within the community. And the pattern is organizationally, these enterprises are forming what look like central teams, right? They're shared services teams. And these teams are on one side, they own managing cloud, they have the credentials to the cloud and you know they own the bill. Right, and on the other side, they own an ex creating experience an experience for the developers that are within the company, self service experience that the developers have, and so so that really hasn't changed, right? That that's there's a the folks working within these teams are the same folks. They're DevOps folks. They're they can write code and they are really mindful about operations and scale and you know uh, cost and cloud. Uh, it's the same folks, right? But what they are, what has changed is that um, we are increasingly seeing these teams building what look like internal platforms, which have an API, which have a user experience around them, which centralize policy, governance, compliance, right? And it, they're treating it more like a product, as opposed to, you know, uh, an, or, an organic tool set or 
you know, a plethora of different tools. They're really thinking about it as if it was an internal product, right? In some cases, we even see front-end engineers working on this or, you know, they're, they have product managers working internally. In other cases, they're using building blocks uh, to, to, to piece together their own platform, right? So the in some ways, it's a bit of a charter or architectural change. It's not a personnel change. It's the same folks, right? It's the same folks, the same smart folks that, that are working on all of this. Uh, but the approach that they're taking is more of a platform and a product approach, right? And that's why Crossplane is interesting because every platform vendor that's built any service or any platform of any scale uses control planes at the heart of it, right? That's why we're seeing the success of Crossplane is these platform teams that are now tasked of building platforms internally are looking at Crossplane as a very structural piece within their platform. Sam, thank you so much for taking time out today and uh, give us an update on Upbound and also talk about platform engineering. I really appreciate those uh, insights and I would love to have you back on the show. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Swap. Yeah, always a pleasure.